Some Christian clerics under the auspices of Northern Clergy and Christian Fortinubu 2023 on Thursday stage a special prayer rally for the national leader of the All Progressive Congress and 2023 presidential hopeful Ashimadu Ahmed Bola Tinubu at the Unity Fountain, Abuja. The Christian preacher said the decision to pray for the presidential admission of the former Lagos State Governor was informed by the Holy Spirit. The clergy offer prayers for the will of God for Senator Tinubu's presidential ambition to come to fruition at the rally, which was also well attended by their followers. Speaking to journalists shortly after the one million man prayer rally, the convener, Bishop Sunday Garba, said God expressed it in their hearts to pray for Tinubu's presidential ambition. He said it was the culture of the organization to always pray and intercede for Nigeria. God has revealed to us having the vision to drive the country on the path of sustainable growth and development. As we have done in the time past, my brethren, we shall continue to pray and intercede on behalf of our brother, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinibu. For we know him to be a man of great insight and love for the people, that he has continued to support President Muhammad Buhari through thick and thin in the case that he is a man who can be trusted to lead the country in the right direction. In a similar vein, one of the clerics and lead pastor, Fountain of Praise, Bishop Lawrence Ogene, said Tinubu has the requirement to lead Nigeria. Nigeria needs a fearless leader who is not bent by any religious sect, one that remains unbiased in his decision making. Nigeria needs a man like Ahmed Bola Tinubu. He has had our interests at heart for, long, for so long a time. His goal is Nigeria and Nigerians, putting us first before himself, because this has been his long childhood dream. It will be unreasonable that we do not see what God has set before us our very eyes. We shouldn't be blind to the answers of our prayers and cries. He is basically the only man who has the coordination of Lagos and APC on a national level for decades. His record is in government has spoken enough volume for the deaf to hear and the blind to see. Will it do us any good to throw away the covenant son God has given us?